Have at it. Coach, I'd love to congratulate you on the win, but let's talk about these free throws. Uh, 59% for the game. What if the team, you know, do they need more practice at the line or whatever to, because that could end up being a, an Achilles heel later on in the season? Yeah, we, didn't, we, we haven't shot free throws very well as a group. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, I think Frank's a good free throw shooter. I think, I think uh, you know, some, you know, we didn't get some of our better free throw shooters, a lot of free throws today. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm not gonna. Free throws to me is something you work on, but it's also something the more you talk about, the more it becomes a mental thing. So I'm, that, that, that doesn't even register with me on how well we play. Frank, uh, when he, that or seven, how well we did play. Huh? That, that seven footer crash into Frank leads him in there and he makes the bucket, switch his hand. You saw him smile. How rare is that during the game to see him smile at his own? Uh, I don't, I, I didn't, I haven't picked up on that trait that much. Uh, I think he smiles some, uh, he can probably get about one every two or three games out of him. So that, that was good that we got the one tonight, but that was, that was a pretty athletic play. That was, that was a great play he made. Talk about the play of Reed Travis, you know, from the other squad and what you all were trying to do with him. Obviously. We didn't do anything with him. Uh, 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 that was a total beat down. Uh, by their by him on our big guys, uh, uh, and I think our big guys did some good things today. But but you know, whenever one guy can set the all time record for most free throws ever shot against Kansas and the most free throws ever made against Kansas in the history of the school, uh, uh, home or away, uh, means that we probably didn't guard. And, and and he he drew basically 17 fouls on four guys. So that you know that that just goes to tell you that that you know we, we didn't play scout report we we've got to do some things to trap the post to help those guys but but you got to play your man before he catches it and our guys just played butt behind and let him go wherever he wanted to go. Bill, Tom asked you about the smile of Frank Mason. Yet Devontae plays with tremendous joy out there. How do their personalities mesh to make them? Well, I think so Frank play, Frank plays with as much joy. He just doesn't show it. I think there's I think a lot of times people equate to. Guys that don't smile is not being happy, and guys that smile is being uh, uh, jovial all the time. I, I think sometimes just their, Carlton smiles a lot, and, and, and when things don't go well, and Devontae will too. I, I mean, sometimes the defense mechanism is to smile or not smile, but but Frank and Devontae, they complement each other so well. It's like, like tonight, uh, Devontae took eight threes in the first half. Uh, he was the reason we had the lead, and Frank had taken like two shots or three shots and had four points, 15 to four. Second half, uh, uh, 16 to zero, uh, uh, Frank scoring. And, and Devontae could care less and Frank could care less. I, I think, I, I think that they, they have a, a great way of knowing where the other one's gonna be and, and how to set the other one up and make the extra pass. Uh, uh, they're, they're, they're fun to watch together. And, and, and it's also contagious. I think Spee and LeGerald and, and, and Josh, you know, also feed off of that. Were you more pleased with Frank's aggressiveness in this game than you were the last? Yeah, yeah, Frank was good. I mean, he had 20 points on 10 shots. He had five assists and one turnover. Uh, uh, I, I thought I thought Frank played really well, and he played a lot of minutes. Uh, I thought Devontae played well. Uh, Legerald did some nice things. You know, he didn't play as much, and I thought Speed was great uh, second half. So, you know, the big guys they, they did Landon and Carlton. They they did fine, but but still, it's I mean, we, we got our butts whipped by by a good big guy tonight. And, you know, you, you guard Stanford, who runs a lot of actions and. and they don't take the air out of the ball, but they don't play fast, and, and so you got to be on defense for a while, and, and you guard them, and, and, and you, you only one guy gets in double figures. You would think that you probably defended them pretty well, and certainly uh, uh, we did defend some things very well, but just one guy just just kicked our butt. Are there a common denominator among all those fouls, and how concerning is it when they're split among all four of your big guys? Yeah, well, it just it's 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 bothersome knowing that that. You know, we, we don't have an answer to, to, to go to individually. Uh, uh, we, we've got to trap the post. We've got to do different things to try to keep the ball out of the low post hands. But, but uh, you know, we, we just let them catch it wherever they want to. Udoka is, is, you know, he's got an excuse. He doesn't know. But Carlton and Landon and, and Dwight do know. And, and uh, they just do it wherever they want to throw it to them. Are there, are there bigs in, in the Big 12 who are similar to, to Reed Travis that uh, could give you trouble if yeah, there's well, there's probably ten other teams that have nine other teams that have one. So, yeah, there, there, there's no question. Yeah, he's he's a really really good player, one of the best players in the Pac-12. But we have other we have a good big guys in our league too. 
certainly uh, he would be one of the better big guys without question in our league. But, you know, there, there's, I mean, we've we, we guarded good bigs before, uh, uh, but we, we're just, we're not, we didn't guard him at all. You, you said Frank and Devontae could, could care less about the first half, second half things. How about you? Could you care less? I mean, yeah. do you want Devontae to, to stay assertive and aggressive when he's scoring like that? Or not Absolutely, yeah, yeah. When he's shooting the ball like that, he needs to look to shoot the ball. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I, I thought the second half we moved the ball well, made the extra pass, but the first half, you know, he made shots and, 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 and basically got us a lead. I think we went up to 10 or 11 in the first half and couldn't put really any distance between us. And, and the second half, it kind of varied between 10 and 16 the whole half uh, for the most part. But but uh, uh, I, I think that we're obviously better if we have balanced scoring. But if you look at the first half, there wasn't much balance. It was basically Devontae. Not very often the opposing coach comes in and gets a standing ovation. What's it like having a guy like that come back? Well, I think it's great. You know, I, I, I I, uh, I definitely agreed with the, the fans to recognize him in the manner in which they did. So I think that was probably very, very cool for Jared and his family and probably good for his players to see. And, you know, I wasn't around. And I wasn't in the league when Jared played, but I, I knew from afar, you know, how hard he played and how hard he competed. And, you know, those teams were really, really good. So it was, uh, you know, I, I'm fine with stuff like that. When Tad Bull came back a couple of years ago, I think it was great for Tad. And if anybody else comes back, I think it's great for them. So uh, uh, I thought I thought that was a nice moment. Coach, as far as your guards go, I remember a couple of years ago you said that Sharon Collins was the baddest dude that we've had around here. How close is Frank getting to that level? Well, Frank is playing. Uh, I, you know, Sharon, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to say that, that Frank's a better basketball player than Sharon, I, I, but I do think Frank is a, 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 a better athlete. I do think he, Frank's so quick. He's got a burst that few people have, and he's under control, and, and uh, he's playing at a high level. He's he's playing a, he's playing about the level Sharon played at whenever Sharon was playing really well too. They're they're not comparable players, but they're certainly comparable talent wise. Coach, I know the lineup is what it is, but are you worried about being out rebounding like you were in future games with, with this type of lineup? Yeah, but you know we, we've actually rebounded the ball pretty well up until today, and. Uh, Today we didn't rebound it, uh, obviously as well. Uh, you know, we didn't get as many rebounds. I'm, I'm, I think one of the reasons why we didn't get as many rebounds is because they shot so many free throws. So you know, you don't rebound makes. Uh, but when you when you when you look at it, they they missed 29 shots and they get eight back. Well, that's pretty pretty darn good defensively. So so defensive rebounding based on the percentage of misses that's that's not bad at all. You know, if we miss 30 shots and get seven back, that's where we need to get better at is rebounding on the offensive end. Uh, but, but rebounding stats are very misleading because turnovers and free throws, you know, those things don't come into play. But as far as our defensive rebound percentage, it wasn't bad. They, they didn't kill us on the offensive glass. Anything else? Yeah, before, uh, now it's not exactly MUKU, but talk about your next game coming up with UMKC and is this something that you all, you know, may try to make something regular between you and the, and the Roos? Uh, I doubt it. I doubt it. I, I, I know those guys over there real well. And Cream uh, uh, and I talked, and we played UMKC multiple times since I've been here. But I don't know that it's ever going to become a yearly thing. But but certainly, they're off to a good start. They're, 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 I think they're 6-2. Six 6-3. and, two. Six and three. They got beat last night or today. Yeah. Or today? Yeah, today. Who, who got them today? South Dakota State. Okay, so 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 was that game at home or on the road? On the road. Okay, yeah, those are those are hard games to win. But he's off to a good start, and they got a team that can it definitely contend in that league. And so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, it, it'll, it'll be the best UMKC team I, team I think that we played since I've been here. All right, thanks.